Hi, everybody. Welcome to our April edition of our KML Foundation Table Talk vlog and podcast. I'm Paul Stamiska, your estate plan counselor, and, and this episode is particularly unique. You know, we just celebrated Easter, which, of course, is the primary reason as Christians that, that we exist here as KML as a school, a Christian school that really focuses on teaching God's Word, and, and what a great time to focus this episode on the school. Past episodes, we've talked about financial issues or legal issues and, and maybe even talking about the foundation. But, but this month, I specifically wanted to talk about the school and the impact that the school is making today. My guest today is Pastor Ben Reichel. Ben teaches in our Word of God department. He teaches our seniors and he also teaches Latin. In addition, he does some coaching and works in our fitness area. So, Ben, welcome. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate the opportunity. You know, I'm going to start just with a very basic question. Our school has really grown dramatically here in the last few years. Why do you think that's happening? Yeah, that's a great question. I've actually thought about that for the past few years, just seeing the the steady growth of a school like KML. And I think there's a couple different factors involved. Um, obviously, first and foremost, it all all the glory goes to God for all of that. He's given us um, grace and blessing after, after blessing. Um, but in these last few years, um, you know, everybody has experienced a lot of different challenges. Um, but what God has been able to do is take those challenges and turn them into opportunities. Um, and he's presented um, KML with a, a special set of opportunities to share his love with more and more people. And, and I think what has happened is people have realized what KML is able to offer. Um, the, the unique position that we are in, our, our reputation has continued to grow. And God has, has used those expectations, those challenges, and turned them into blessings for so many individual students and so many families. When they see that KML has just a warm, caring, family-oriented atmosphere, it's a very safe environment, um, and, and we're able to offer students academics, like I said, athletics, um, all of those opportunities that, that God has continued to bless. I, I, think, I think you nailed it. I think every one of those is true. But I'm going to tell you, and this might be more for personal experience, I'm not sure growing up that a lot of my peers as a teenager would have said, boy, I, you know, I really love studying God's word. I, I, you know, I'm in a Christian environment. Yeah, it's safe, but, but you're going to make me study the Bible every day. What are you seeing from your seniors in your Word of God class? Yeah, uh, I have a lot of students with a lot of different backgrounds, um, and I think that all will play a factor into how they approach, especially senior year Word of God. If they've grown up, um, I'll say, in a Lutheran grade school, they've, they've heard the Bible stories, they've studied the catechism, um, they've gone through years worth of studying the Bible, they may come into high school thinking, I know it all already. I know all this stuff. There's going to be nothing new. Um, but if they don't have that background, uh, sometimes it can be very intimidating to study the Bible as rigorously and as, as deeply as we do. Um, but I think regardless of a student's background, we're able to offer them the truths of God's Word. We're able to study um, different parts of the Bible in ways that will allow each individual student to become closer to Jesus in some way. Wherever they happen to be, they're going to grow in their faith through the study of God's Word. And part of that safe environment is a place where we get to ask really good questions and hopefully find really good answers um, in God's Word to everything that's happening in their lives, uh, in their families' lives, in society, in the world. Um, we can address all of those things, uh, certainly in the light of the truth of God's Word. You know, that's really interesting, and it leads me to another question. You know, we all are seeing news stories across the country, school boards, parents, communities, arguing and fighting over some of these controversial issues, and, and the debates become really intense. How does KML deal with some of those controversial issues? Yeah, we, we tackle them, actually. We, we study them. We address them. We don't avoid them at all. Um, and sometimes that can kind of be um, our default setting is if something is going to be controversial, if something is going to lead to a heated discussion, 
we may be tempted to just avoid it and not talk about it at all. Um, personally speaking, especially with seniors, uh, we tackle those things. Um, we talk about things. I invite questions from the students about will, really what, whatever is on their mind or whatever is in the news, as you said. Um, but the beauty of being able to study those things in light of God's word is that we have truth. We have answers. We don't have to rely I'll say on our own personal opinions, the opinions of the world, um, or even our own feelings at the time. Because if you rely on your feelings or your emotions or your opinions, um, that's when things really get heated. And that's when you don't find answers because you're so concerned about either defeating that person in an argument or, or just proving yourself to be right. Um, but we actually look at the, the absolute truth of God's word and we take those truths, we wrestle with them, and we see how they apply to each and every individual um, circumstance, question, or concern that people have. So I, I can think of quite a few times in class where we've had heated discussions, um, but we always come back to God's Word and say, this is what God's Word says about this. Um, and so we have to kind of wrestle with that in, in a very, again, safe environment, but one that invites those types of discussions. And, and, you know, Ben, from my perspective, and I'm, I'm not teaching, but I, but I see what's going on in the school, and I am seeing more students, you know, rather than saying, I don't want to be indoctrinated by a bunch of Christians, they're saying, I want to hear what God's Word has to say. And, and particularly interesting is some students that are already in high school at a different school wanting to come here because of what you were saying. Yeah, absolutely. And I see that. I've seen that actually more often in the last few years. Um, students who are transferring in from, you know, either other parochial, private high schools, public schools coming in. Um, and I think that speaks to the reputation that KML actually has in the greater community. Um, because it's not only the students, but I think it's also the parents, the families that, that see this environment and this atmosphere that we have here, the family-oriented, the care that we sh um, demonstrate to our students, and the ability to, to tackle those tough topics. Um, because families can understand the value of not only rigorous academics, but also that, that spiritual component that we have to offer. Um, students appreciate it, parents appreciate it, um, and we're able to kind of guide those students through any questions, any turmoil. You know, teenage years are, are always tough um, for each individual student, but um, we're able to guide them through, like I said, kind of with those truths of God's Word. You know, the school, we said, has grown dramatically over the years. I might ask you a leading question here, but do you want to see more growth? And if so, why? Absolutely. Um, I, I have been absolutely blown away by the growth that we've seen um, over the last five years since I've been here at KML. And certainly we want that growth to continue. We want more students to come in. Um, we've had to literally build more classrooms and more lockers to um, try and keep up with the growth that we've seen. And that's one of the greatest problems to have. Because what that means is we get more opportunities every single day to help guide these students, guide these teenagers through the storms of life, lead them through with the Word of God, share Jesus' love with more and more people, send them on their way, um, prepare them for whatever lies ahead for them after high school. Um, you know, that's our, our mission statement is to, to prepare students for life, but also for eternity. And the more lives we can impact that way, the better. You know, I have to tell you that in today's world, you know, the, the Christian values, the absolute truth of God's word just is not the center of a lot of people's thinking, but it is here at KML. And the KML Foundation supports the high school. That support is growing. And that means more students are able to come. And that is obviously our ultimate goal, that not just we have more students here, but we're able to equip more of them in growing in their faith. That really is a great benefit of the KML Foundation. But now you've heard a little bit more of why that KML Foundation is so excited about what's going on at the high school. Ben, is there anything else you'd like to add? I just want to say thank you. 
Uh, thank you to the KML Foundation for everything that you have done for your continued support of this ministry here at KML. And as Paul said at the beginning, um, celebrating Easter is really what Christianity is all about. With the life, the death, and ultimately the resurrection of Jesus, that demonstrates God's great love for this world. And to be able to celebrate that joy, to share that joy and that love with more students um, is certainly why KML exists and why we rely so much on um, donors, the KML Foundation, to keep this ministry going so that we can share that love, that joy, that Christian, uh, like you said, that Christian foundation with more and more students. So thank you to the KML Foundation. Thank you, Ben, for joining us today. It, it is a great privilege to be able to hear your perspectives on things. And, and you know, it's interesting, you might think, well, yeah, of course, Pastor Reichel's a Word of God teacher. He's going to have that perspective, but I can tell you it's the perspective of all teachers here teaching all subjects. You know, it's typical that I end these episodes with the byline, it's your life, it's your plan, and it's your legacy. But I'm gonna change that a little bit. The gifts that you give are making a difference in the lives and the plans and the legacies of our current and future KML Chargers. That is worth celebrating. Lord's blessings to you. Happy Easter. Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. We'll see you next month.